Nobody cries victim more than the narcissist who has completely lost control of you. Nobody cries victim than that narcissist who has completely lost control and realizes that you're not coming back. You're not the same person anymore. What they'll do at first is to try to hoover you back because control is everything for them. They must and will have control of you. But if they can't have control of you, if the hoovering didn't work, they will cry victim. And a part of crying victim is the smear campaign. They will spread your name to any and everyone who's willing to listen because of fear of exposure. Their public facade is everything for them. You, as the victim who just left them, you know more about them than anybody else does. So they will cry victim. The narcissist will cry victim. Let me tell you this. A lot of people comment on my videos and some of my clients will tell me, at this point, I don't even know if he's the narcissist or if I'm the narcissist. Let me tell you the quickest way to tell who's the narcissist. Number one, the fact that you're even thinking that you're a narcissist. That's one way to tell that you're not a narcissist. The narcissist does not have the ability to reflect. The narcissist does not have the ability to have empathy or think that they are anything less than godly. The narcissist will never admit that they are a narcissist because they themselves know that being a narcissist is a negative term being a narcissist is a negative thing so they will never claim that but what they what they will do is switch and call you the narcissist before you get a chance to call them a narcissist so that's one way you can figure out no I'm not the narcissist the fact that you're book, booking a coaching call with me or any of the other people who offers that that is another sign that you're not the narcissist the narcissist will never ever think that there's anything wrong with them and if you don't think there's something wrong with you why would you go and get help so they're not getting help they're not seeking help as a matter of fact the victims are the one who the ones who end up in therapy the victims are the ones who end up in therapy, not the narcissist. The narcissist think that they're perfect. They have found a way to convince you that you are crazy, you are delusional, you are the problem, and you are, in fact, the narcissist. So what happens is the victims end up going to get help because they really, really, truly believe that they are, in fact, the narcissist. So that is another way you can tell that you are the narcissist you're not the narcissist another way you can tell is remember i said that the narcissists they play victim they are the most victim the most victim as victims you will ever victim they are the most victim as victim you will ever victimize okay they will play victim and cry wolf to any and everybody who's willing to listen so because they want to play victim, they don't want to take accountability for their actions. All the things they, that they knowingly did to you, to punish you, to drag you, to make you lose everything, to make you cry, the scars on your body, the scars in your heart, the trauma, they will still flip it and say that it was your fault because they are victims. So why would a victim get help? Why would a victim want to be better? They're victims. They're not going to want to be better. What they are going to want to do is start a pity party so everybody can say, Oh, I can't believe she did that. I can't believe he did that. I can't believe this. I can't believe that. I can't. They want the pity party. And they also want people to turn against you so that by the time you, again, get strong enough to tell your story, everybody sees you as the, the crazy one. For me, I was silent for two and a half years after my ordeal with the narcissist. I went quiet. I never talked about them. Till this day, I don't even talk about them. I just share my story. One thing you'll never see on my page is a name mention or videos of them, photos of them. You'll never see that because I'm not interested in that. But what the narcissist will do is post videos, post pictures, post things everywhere to prove a point. See, a decent person in a relationship, whether that relationship was toxic or not, when the relationship ends or even when they're still in the relationship, what they would what they're not going to do is make a mockery of that relationship, make a mockery of their partner. Because regardless of the, the status of the relationship, they still have some kind of respect for you. They still have some kind of empathy for you. If you have children, they still think about the kids and Putting you in a certain light will not sit well with them. So they'll protect you. 
They won't even talk bad about you to strangers. If people ask them, what happened between you and so-and-so? Oh, it just didn't work out. But the narcissist, the narcissist will take secret recordings, secret videos, or videos that you are aware of, recordings that you are aware of. They will plaster it everywhere. That's a narcissist, a decent man who respects himself, who respects you, who has dignity, will never ever stoop to that level. But the narcissist will do that because they will go out of their way to get pity. They will go out of their way to punish you. They will go out of their way to embarrass you. They will go out of their way to make you the narcissist. They will call you the narcissist. They will take those videos and, and, and emails and text messages and flip it around and edit it and plaster it everywhere. They'll send it to friends and family if it's not on social media. They'll send it to everybody who knows you. They'll send it to your job. But if they are someone who's on social media, they will plaster it everywhere. And here's the kicker. Even if they are in those videos, a lot of the videos, if not all of them, was planned by them. You never see what, what started the argument. You only see the victim's reaction. Because the point is to show the victim's reaction to make them the, the villain, right? So they'll plan those videos and set it up. You may even see them in the video. Most times they won't be in the videos. You will just hear you you will only hear their voices because they're protecting themselves. Because anybody can listen to a video and hear a voice and that can be anybody's voice. But your face is plastered. You as the victim, your face is plastered all over that video. Your name is plastered everywhere. Your identity, everything, anything that will help people identify you is plastered and they will post it everywhere. Again, a decent man, a decent woman protects their partner, even if you're going through divorce. Let's say you had this big wedding, people, a lot of people came, you posted the pictures all over social media, and now there's problems in the relationship. Decent people will maybe make a statement or just change their status to from married to not married or and just keep it simple, right? The narcissist will start to go on social media and drag you. They'll start to hint at things and they'll go as far as deliberately, overtly saying your name and saying what happened. The reason for that is they want pity. They are chronic victims. They are notorious victims. So yeah, if you think you can get any kind of accountability from the narcissist, you're wrong. If you think you can get them to change, if you think you can get them to realize, nope, 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 and nope. They will never come to a realization because once they start making up those stories in their head, baby, you are the problem now. And they'll start to believe those stories. And now they're like, I can't believe she did this to me. The story they just made up in their head, they will believe it. And usually it's a bad story. It's a horrible story. And now because the story is so horrible, they believe the story and now they have to punish you for it. These people are dangerous. Leave when you can. Leave quietly and leave when you can. Don't sit there and try to waste your time trying to change them, trying to make them get your point, trying to make them see where you're coming from. It's never going to happen. You're dealing with a chronic victim. They will always be a victim. They will take their victim mentality to their grave. They're not going to play. They're not going to be the villain. So you might as well just accept that and leave. It's never going to change. Leave your thoughts below. And if you have experienced any of this, please leave it below so we can um, discuss it. You can also book a coaching call with me. The link is in my bio. All right. See ya.